A one-year-old Dallas girl is dead, and now her mother's boyfriend is behind bars. But tonight, family members tell our Andre Lucia they still don't know how or why she died. The night before she died, family members say one-year-old Amira Fleming was her usual smiling self. And I have been trying to get her to say G mama for the longest. And that night, she finally put the words together. Say G mama. Mama. That was one of the best moments of my life. It was also one of Nicole Benton's last moments with her granddaughter. I adored her. I loved her so much. Police reports show Amira's mother's boyfriend, Demarcus Johnson, called 911 on September 5th to report she'd suddenly stopped breathing. They said her heart had stopped three times, and they was trying to bring her back. The medical examiner found Amira died from blunt force trauma to her head and abdomen. Doctors claim she had a fractured skull, broken bones, and internal bleeding, symptoms of severe physical abuse. Every day, I'm just trying so hard to be strong, but it's, it's very hard. She was only one. Renee Fleming says she trusted Johnson with her daughter that night while she was at work. He knew what I was trying to do for her. He knew the life I was trying to pursue for her. She was just everything. She was my everything. Now the family wants to know how Amira died. I wanted Marcus to tell us why. Why did you do this? And they want the man charged with her death to pay. Tonight, Johnson is here at the Dallas County Jail, charged with injury to a child in connection to this death. A police report shows he told the detective he was the adult caring for Amira that night when she suddenly became sick. He claimed that she stopped breathing, but that it wasn't because of any injury. Reporting live in Dallas, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.